the places to eat on Bonaire Island right now. In this video, I'm sharing with you 10 places to discover, some of them very recent and new. This island is changing so much given how much construction is going on, but this is one that you gotta plan for in advance and make sure you get on that list immediately, which is chefs. And I wondered, is this overrated? Uh, yeah, I get it that they're number one on TripAdvisor, they have a million good reviews, but is it really worth the hype? And the answer is absolutely yes. If I would have missed this dinner, I would have been S-A-D sad. Like it was one of my most favorite experiences on the island. And if you are like, oh my gosh, let me go check. Right now there's a four month wait list. But the number one thing to do is to add a note on their website with the dates you'll be there and get on their wait list. Oh, I was able to get in on a Friday night. And not only that, this dining experience, which only seats 20 people per night at exactly 7 p.m., it's in a U-shaped experience. This is a great one if you are with one other person, table for two. But one of the other things is that there's two more private tables on the side. We scored one of those. It was a phenomenal dinner. I'll tell you more about it, but first, Yo, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is CL and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. This is my third year back on Bonaire Island. I go every year and on this trip, which was a super short 10 days, I'll be sharing with you some of the places I discovered coming up. What I also loved about chefs was the wine pairing. If you even like wine a tiny bit, get it. Ooh, my earring fell off. <laughs> so they will present to you each wine and there's a lot of thought put into why they chose each one. It's a phenomenal experience. It's a must. And not only that, it's an unlimited pour. So if you want to be rolled out of there like I was, uh, you can drink as much wine as you can handle. Let's move on to the next one. But before we do, if you have helpful tips as we're going along, add them in the comments because we're all a community. I couldn't go to every single restaurant I wanted to. If you have helpful other places to go, add them in the comments because I'm really planning my next trip. But let's talk about another one that's top of TripAdvisor. And that's a tour called Melissa Sailing. So even before we talk about the food, the experience of being on a sailboat, touring around Bonaire at sunset, in itself makes it worth the price. So even if you come totally full and just come for the beautiful ride, I highly recommend Melissa Sailing. You are going on a, from 5.15 p.m., get there early, don't be the person that's super late and misses the boat, get there at 5.15 p.m. or earlier, and make sure you try to ask them, are you going north first, south first? Sit on the side of the boat that's facing the island going out and then facing the sunset when the sun is setting. Try to be on that side of the boat. Um, and it's different depending on what the wind and blah, blah, blah is doing. Um, but as you sit down and there's beautiful cushions and carpets and it's kind of a long time to be sitting in that position, but you're also eating in that position. So it's a really fantastic boat experience that happens to have a dining experience as well. The dining is very fantastic, but if you eat at Chef's, and we'll talk about Brass Boer in a minute and a lot of other amazing places, the food is definitely secondary on Melissa Sailing with the experience of sailing being first. But you are on a course out meal that is served from the place you are sitting while enjoying the view. Let's talk about Brass Boer because I was very excited about this one. This is the number one rated restaurant in the Caribbean. Is it though? Let's go in and find out how it is. I don't know, the expectations were kind of high. It's really important that when you make a reservation, you ask for one of the views, the seats with a view, because you're right on the water within a resort and the view is very, very beautiful. And so you wanna make sure you're going and getting a table with one of those views so you can enjoy it with dinner. And it's again, another multi-course dinner here is the helpful tip. If you are here with two people or more people, don't both do the course meal. The standard menu is phenomenal. The standard menu has more traditional dishes done extremely well, whereas the surprise me chef's menu has a lot more cutting edge, trending flavors that 
might blow your mind and might be like, ooh, that's just a little bit too crazy for me. And so what worked out extremely well for me is I did the a la carte. Um, I think I ordered four or five dishes off the a la carte. And then my boyfriend did the course menu. And then we were able to share it together to get a full perspective. Uh, I mean, there's still, we would have gone back if we could have, to be totally honest. I would go twice to Brassport 100%. But order it that way to be able to try all the amazing foods. But a couple examples, if you're like, what do you mean by like cutting edge? So like one thing is like, they'll bring the bread out to the table and let you watch it rise. So I actually put a little time lapse on there and watch the bread rise. It really does, it rises. And then they will actually go back and bake it for you and bring it back. That was really cool. One of the amuse-bouche amuse is <laughs> literally taking like a shot off of your hand body shots. That was really fun. There's just like more unique things that happen. Um, the dessert was a little wild. They tried to hit every flavor profile from sweet to sour to savory to all the things um, all in one dish. It was a little much, um, but there, there are some more unique and cutting edge things happening at Brass Boar. A must. I would definitely recommend coming here. Whoa, hold the phone. I almost forgot about this one. I'm just going to stick this clip in the middle of the video because you cannot miss out on foodies. I didn't know about foodies. I, I started playing pickleball in Bon Air. You can play at John Bon Air. Info in the description below. Um, but a local, Jody, told me her favorite restaurant is foodies. Go there and get the sampler platter. It has to be at least two people that are on the platter. It's $40 a person, but you get a taste of all the best things on the menu. Oh, this was so delicious. From the tuna tataki to the beef skewers with the truffle butter sauce. Like, ah, I'm drooling just thinking about it. Foodies is a must. Do not miss out on this spot. I'm really glad I made a reservation because if you do, you'll get one of the tables in the shade that's looking out onto beautiful, beautiful Sorbonne Lock Bay. So make sure you go to Foodies. Oh, it's a must. I think this video in the end is going to be like 15 suggestions. On to the next one. Let's talk about Sebastian um, because this is a spot where they have their beach Sorbonne location that's great for lunch. It's not open for dinner. It closes at 6 p.m. But their traditional downtown location is has a change. There's a dock now. So what's cool is that you can dine over the water and they have lights. Not only that, helpful tip, make sure you make a reservation to sit next to one of the nets so that when you're dining, you can actually go out onto the net and like look at the tarpon that are down there, which is so cool. But Sebastian has been around forever and for good reason. They do things extremely well. I always recommend their um, trio of fish. They put different fish on top of different meshes, which is absolutely amazing. Which by the way, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. Don't forget, this is one of so many videos and not my first restaurant video. So make sure you check that out in the description below. Oh wait, one more tip. Go there for lunch. And they also have on the dock stairs to go into the water. Yo have lunch, get in the water, get back up there. And there's another spot that I love for eating, drink, mainly drinking and getting in the water. And that's the beach. Oh, the beach. I love this one. And I made a mistake the first time I came here, which is I came after sunset and I came for dinner. This is really a spot you should come in the afternoon to enjoy the good music and the drinks and the vibes and the easy access into the water, whether you're snorkeling or just swimming and floating around. But it's a fantastic spot to spend the afternoon. The staff is great. They do have a full lunch and dinner menu. Oh, they're open for breakfast. You can go and get coffee there and some food items as well. But I love the beach in the afternoon, mainly for drinking. The food isn't really something I'd write home about. I have tried the lunch items, again, the dinner items, but I really just love the vibes and the easy access into the water because you gotta cool off because it's so hot when you're in Bonaire. Oh, and one other thing you should do when you're there. So one, know that it's shallow. It's not like super deep on the other side, but you should totally run and jump off of the dock. Like <laughs> one of the most fun things to do when you're, when you're at the beach. So don't miss out on doing that. The other spot to go to if you're looking for good beach vibes is Ocean Oasis. A really great beach club, really delicious food. Whether you go for breakfast and eat the cheesy eggs, oh my gosh, they're to die for. They're even better than the avocado toast. I totally ate meatballs breakfast when we went there. Um, and they're even their snack menu. I mean, their lunch menu is great. I love the poke bowl, but the snack menu is really good as well. That's the both between dinner um, and lunch. Um, and the dinner is also great, but come for sunset views, come for 
um, the live music, make sure you check their calendar, but a great way to spend the afternoon. Access to the water is not as easy as the beach, but if you're looking for those vibes, the beach club at Ocean Oasis is fantastic. Let's talk about two new spots that I loved checking out, both in the cruise port downtown area. One of them is number 10. Um, fantastic if it's really hot outside because they air condition the inside and it's really cool decor in there. This is your spot for coffee, breakfast, and lunch. Um, they have a great menu for bagels or um, the mushroom toast was delicious, but a great place for coffee and having a seat inside. They do have a couple seats outside as well, but number 10 is a cool new spot. Just around the corner from there is Bagel and Bloom, um, another indoor air conditioned spot. These are kind of hard to come by in Bonaire, in my opinion. And so Bagel and Bloom is a great one for their avocado toast is massive and really delicious. Really good coffee here as well, but again, a breakfast lunch style place. These are two new ones in downtown. But let's talk about two standards and one new one that is my most favorite one on the island now. I think I went there like four times in the, in the nine days, I, 10 days I was there. Um, standard that you always have to go to is It Rains Fishes. They do just such a fantastic job right on the waterfront and make sure you go for a sunset dinner, make a reservation and definitely get the whatever fish they are serving because they will make it perfectly. It Rains Fishes is such a, a staple of Bonaire that you have to go to make sure you make a reservation. Um, the next one that's a staple that you got to check out obviously is Kite City um, at Te Amo Beach, a very popular beach to hang out at enjoy the views, grab a food truck fish burger from Kite City. Um, and whether you take it to go or eat it there, they always serve it with chips with a fun little sauce on there, but a fantastic place that you must go to. But you wanna know what my new number one is? Oh, on Sorbon. Once you pass Jibe City, once you pass the Hangout Beach Bar, and, and I do love Sebastian Sorbon new food truck, Carib. Oh my gosh, the yellow truck, you cannot miss it. They park it right next to Fran's Paradise, um, next to the East Coast diving boat. But wow, their wrap, I don't know what they do to it, but they must like fry it in some kind of deliciousness. The sauce is delicious, but the catch of the day, the wrap for it, fire. Um, the very first time I went there, I would just come, come off the dive boat. And Meatball was like, oh, I got a wrap. Do you want me to get you your own? And I'm like, no, no, I'll just have a bite of yours. Nah, I ate his entire wrap. I ate the whole thing by myself. I didn't even give him a bite. It was so good. That cannot be missed. That was my lineup for Bonaire on this round. Add in the comments below your suggestion because I'm already planning my next trip. And make sure you check out the other restaurants video as well as the full blog post. Um, and I have tons of Bonaire videos available for you. If you got some value out of this, make sure you cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and yo, I'm Christine Lozada. Connect with me on social, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Ciao. Bonaire. 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 What's the name of the restaurant? Bonaire. The name of the restaurant? Bonaire. <laughs> Fired. Name of the restaurant? Bras Boer. <laughs> you look creepy in this light. I am creepy. <laughs> One more time. Brasbourg. That's a thing of nightmares. <laughs>